Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and hit on some of the worst iPhones that you can probably buy in the later part of 2024. Now, these iPhones are going to range in a lot of different ways. The first thing I would probably tell you in every single way I can imagine is that any iPhone that is currently unsupported with software is probably not worth buying in any capacity. So these particular devices include the iPhone 10 and below. So if you're in the market and if you wanted to go and buy a phone, it probably wouldn't make a lot of sense to go and buy something like an iPhone 10 or below because those phones are already done getting software support. So I would hate for you to go ahead and buy a phone like this if it's already done getting software. So that's kind of where that, you know, kind of comes into play. So from that standpoint, I probably would not recommend buying this particular phone, your the iPhone 10, 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus, those phones. I wouldn't recommend buying them because they're already done getting software support. You're much better off purchasing phones that are still supported with software. So any phone above this is probably going to be the better way to go. Now, on top of that, I do think another group of phones that I probably would not recommend buying either in a certain amount of ways is probably going to be something like an iPhone. You know, to be honest, I do think like an iPhone 10R as of this point and the Tennis and Tennis Max probably aren't worth buying that much either. The reason for this, right, the reason why I wouldn't really recommend purchasing those phones is because those devices pretty much are kind of on their last leg of software. These phones aren't really going to be supported for like, you know, that much longer. And I wouldn't really feel comfortable recommending buying those phones right now if your main goal is to keep these phones for like the next several years. If you're planning on buying these phones and keeping them for the next couple of years, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to go and purchase these phones because they're already done getting software support. So why would you want to go and buy these phones from that perspective, right? Like it just genuinely does not make any sense. So that's another set of phones I probably wouldn't recommend buying either. Now, if you're currently using those phones, it's different. But if you're actively going to go out and buy those phones, like I said, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it. Now, on top of that, I do think if you're going to go through and pick up another group of phones, on top of those devices that we just hit on, I think a bad phone from the price tag standpoint is probably something like an iPhone 15 Plus or an iPhone 14 Plus in the brand new market. The reason why I wouldn't really recommend buying those phones in the brand new market is because the prices of those phones overlap with the iPhone 16s and iPhone 15s respectively. So if you're getting a 14 Plus is the same price as the iPhone 15, if you're getting an iPhone 16 Plus is the same, or 15 Plus is the same price as an iPhone 16. So why would you want to go ahead and buy those particular devices, right? Like it just doesn't make a lot of sense in my personal opinion to go ahead and buy those phones from that particular standpoint, from like a price tag standpoint. So I do think if you're talking about those particular devices, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense to go and buy those phones because the price is just similar to those other phones that are just so much better. So I think that in and of itself is another very, very big thing to keep in mind here as well. So those are probably the main phones that I probably would say are some of the worst like priced phones here and there. And I probably wouldn't recommend buying them when it kind of comes down to it. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.